Hey there Aquarius, uh, welcome to your reading for the week of August 8th. Uh, this week I'm still collaborating with Marie Moore, probably will be for a while. Uh, it seems to be working out, so definitely check her out at the link below at the top of the description if you haven't checked her out already. Uh, she does tarot and astrology every week and uh, monthly videos as well. Uh, but this week, let's see what's in store for you this week. And uh, yeah go looks like an interesting week actually it's gonna be a good week for you uh, I can tell already so that's what I like to see but um, uh, let's see here hold on uh, you start with the four of clubs um, I was hesitating on this that's why I said uh um, because uh, <laughs> this card is like uh, it represents mercury retrograde it's funny we have a retrograde at the end of the month uh, so definitely uh, double check everything this week definitely uh, look at everything you do this week. Just double check all paperwork that you sign and things like that. This is a good card. I mean, it does represent mental stability and being very mentally stable and things like that. But it's a card of of being mentally stable because you double checked. So definitely double check everything that you do this week. Double check what you think you're going to say to people. Double check your paperwork, all that stuff, and you should be fine. But it's also a card of uh, more stability coming into your home and being more stable in the home. So that includes like financially, relationship-wise, all that. So uh, it is a good card. Next, you have the Two of Spades, possibly needing to let something go. Two of Spades is a card of letting something go. Uh, you know, a lot of people, it's funny, there aren't very many people who read playing cards, but, uh, you know, a lot of them that do read this card, they will read it as a breakup or something like that, and I just don't. Uh, to me, it's just not a breakup card. To me, it's more of, if, if anything, it's more of a card of separating away from a friend. So if anything, the thing that you're losing is a friend. It's like somebody else, you know, not necessarily a relationship. So a lot of you could be needing to separate away from a friend uh, or something something along those lines or it could also just be a belief an old belief that you need to separate away from so don't be afraid to let things go this week but it's followed up by the nine of hearts which is an amazing card it's very similar to the nine of cups and the tarot it, it just represents a, a wish getting a wish and getting something you wish for so this is a really nice card of wishes being fulfilled it is a good love card it can represent more love coming in but it, mostly in the future it represents that love is literally coming in as in it's not here yet but it will be here soon so it's a great card for pretty much anything that you want as well next you have the ace of hearts Sim Similar message, kind of a wish card, kind of a card of emotions, being very happy. Nine of hearts, another card of being very happy. So I'd say if nothing else this week, you will have a lot of like happiness in being very happy. It's also a card of messages. So pay attention to any dreams, uh, any you know, if people come to you in dreams or something like that, pay attention to those messages. If people come up to you on the street and deliver a message, if people in line while you're waiting for coffee deliver a message, pay attention to messages with this card. I also say this is a great card of transformation. You know, I always meditate on this card and I always see like a heart melting with a fresh heart underneath. And to me, it's a card of just transformation and things transforming for you. So you could be going through a lot of transformations with this card. Next, you have the tower in reverse. This card has four cards from, uh, from the major arcana from the tarot in it. And uh, one of them is a tower. Luckily, you got it in the reverse. Although, even upright, I still think that it's not that bad of a card. Um, but in reverse, it represents avoiding disaster. So it looks like you're going to avoid some sort of disaster this week. I'm actually not... That's not what I'm feeling for you. What I'm feeling is that you have the Nine of Hearts. Nine of Hearts is a good card. Nines are pretty much all great. But they can represent uh, like a disappointment. But they can also represent a blessing in disguise. So for a lot of you, I think that there is going to be some sort of minor disappointment. Maybe it looks like this, like a tower type event. But I think very quickly, like like it doesn't even have a chance to upset you because, again, this came up in reverse. So it's like, you know, there is no disaster. There is no anything. So it looks like there could be some sort of possible disappointment this week, but it looks like it turns into something very positive um, right, like right away. Uh, so I really wouldn't worry about that at all. And finally, you have the King of Spades. Uh, this is you, uh, Aquarius. Uh, very good card to show up as. Makes you very resourceful. Makes you very intuitive. Makes you very um, also innovative as well. Coming up with new crazy ideas. You know, uh, Aquarius, you are the innovator of the deck. You know, of, of the deck. You are the innovator of the of the zodiac. You are the inventor and. You know, all those things. So trust your crazy ideas this week. They, you know, this guy has, he's extremely successful as well. So you could be very successful as a result of some of your crazier ideas this week. Trust them all. But it looks like a really nice week for you. Uh, really nice. So thank you for watching and enjoy the week.